Hello there! How's it going everybody? Today is Sunday, November 22nd. It is a beautiful day outside, and in four days, Thanksgiving will be here. It's awesome. I'm really, really excited. I'm actually gonna go home for the day and see my family! It's gonna be great. Also, in two days is Travis's birthday, so be sure to wish him a happy birthday. We had a little surprise birthday party for him earlier, actually yesterday, and it was delightful. <laughs> As is evidenced by the fact that I am recording this video right now, I have received my new camera. It's a JVC Averio something, 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 something. But it's really nice, and it's red, and cute, and I love it. It's great. I'm really pumped to have it. With that out of the way, I would just like to point out that it's way too warm to be November. How is this possible? Who knows? It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yes. I said it. The other day my friend Mal went to Michigan with some of her buddies. They took a journey. She came back with these candly things that you're supposed to stick in your ears. Uh, I don't know. You put them in your ear like this you, and you light them on fire. And you just kind of let them burn down. And it's supposed to like suck all the crap out of your ears and just kind of make them feel better, hope you hear better and stuff. So, I watched it happen, and it was real weird, but at the end, when the candle was all burnt down, there was like this, there was like this much of the candle left, and, and there was like, earwax and stuff in there, and she said she could hear so much better, I don't know. I looked it up, and people say that it doesn't really work, but I'm unconvinced. I'm going to try it myself. I will let you know how it goes. In regards to videos, I am currently making really good progress on the Wombat Wrap. It's gonna be amazing. So yeah, keep that in mind. Almost done. Fear not. I also made another video on a collaborative channel that I created with my bro Dustin. It is about phones. And even though the video quality is pretty bad, we managed to edit the crap out of it and make it look so good. Ah! I liked it. Go check it out. Do you ever get those invitations on Facebook to events. They're events from people you've never, you haven't seen in years. And all of a sudden they invite you to this party. And every time I get one, I wonder to myself, what it would be like if I actually went to the party. But I just think about how awkward that would be. What if you invited someone that you hadn't seen in 10 years and be like, hey, come to my, come to my smash it up kegger, man. It'd be awesome. It wouldn't even make sense. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? People. Pay attention to who you're inviting to your events. If you don't want them there, don't invite them! Thank you. Subscribe to me, subscribe to me, pleasey, pleasey, please. This just in. Not two minutes ago, I was eating food with my bro Dustin at McDonald's, as you can see. He ordered a Big Mac. On the Big Mac box that I have here, it says these words, and I quote, Maybe it's how the double layer of sear sizzled 100% pure beef Mingles with the sauce and melted cheese, a snap of onion, and the tart crunch of pickle. Or maybe it's just that it's tall. Dustin, however, was unsatisfied with his meal due to the lack of pickle. He added an extra line to this advertising gunk. Or maybe it's just a writhing slop fest that someone threw together and didn't put pickles on. I found this hilarious. <laughs> 